front-end addition is just a different way of adding numbers. The usual kind of addition that you probably grew up with carries over amounts from the ones columns to the tens and hundreds and so on towards the left. Front-end addition goes differently. It goes from the left to the right. I'm going to show you in this video a couple of examples, a two-digit, three-digit, four-digit example here with whole numbers and maybe on another page uh, here two or three decimal examples. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, there's nothing wrong with uh, addition with carrying over but like I said for some people this front-end addition might just make more sense or work out better. So I'll show you how this one goes. This is fun. Let's do a two-digit number here such as I don't know, 74 and 38. Now this is how front-end addition goes. Of course it starts at the front here in the tens column or towards the left and works towards the right. Then you write the subtotals there, the sums down here. So 70 plus 30, 70, 80, 90, 100. So you write down 100 here placed correctly with the existing columns there. That's how you write down 100 the next numbers to do of course is uh, these two here the 4 and the 8 4 plus 8 is 12 and you write down 12 correctly 12 like so so that 2 is in the 1's column and the 1 is in the 10's column all you need to do now is add 112 my bad 112 it is so you see these amounts got repositioned so that addition with carrying became addition without carrying and everything just plainly adds up in their columns. So that's basically how front end addition works. So let's see a three digit example right next to it here. How about five eight six plus uh, three nine yeah so that it, so that there is uh, so that the it, it's more than 10 here and here in the ones and the tens column. Okay, same situation here. It starts on the left hand side and progresses towards the right. 5 plus 3 is 8, but it's not 5, it's 500 because the 5 is in the hundreds column, you see, and the 3 is in the hundreds columns as well. So it's 500 plus 300, it's 800, and you just write it down like so correctly the 800 with the place value columns next one is 8 plus 9 but it's 80 plus 90 80 plus 90 is 170 so how that's written down is this way with matching it with the place value columns last one is these two guys here there 6 plus 7 6 plus 7 is 13 so you write down 13 yay so and then you add it. So now the addition with carrying became an addition without carrying. 8 plus 1 is 9, 7 plus 1 is 8, 0 plus 0 plus 3 is 3. Done. So that's the final answer. Let's do a four digit one just briefly, but you can extend the pattern. You see it's fairly straightforward. How about 5? I don't know, 8, 9, 2, and then 1. Something that makes more than 10 something that makes more than 10 and something that makes more than 10 how about those numbers let's add them again same flow applies starts from the left and moves towards the right here ending on the ones column there 5 plus 1 5000 plus 1000 is 6000 800 plus 700 is Uh, sorry, 1500 and it's written down there correctly in their columns. 90 plus 50 is 140 and 9 plus 2 is 11 there. And then you just add everything up. 6 plus 1 is 7, 5 plus 1 is 6, 4 plus 1 is 5 and the 1. 
so that's how it works fairly straightforward now let me show you just maybe uh, on this page here a couple of decimal examples how about I don't know, something shorty fairly short but not too short how about that decimal number and another one like so two decimal digits in these numbers the same algorithm applies it's we start here in the column most towards the left and we're going with it with the towards the right so 5 plus 1 is 6 you don't just write down 6 anywhere you write down 6 into the ones column and I do recommend that you just for keeping the rows and columns everything neatly together you write down 6.00 with some trailing zeros just for keeping the lines and the columns neatly together next one is 8 plus 4 8 plus 4 it, that's 12 when the 12 gets written down this way that it's 8 tenth and 4 tenth and it's a 1.2 so if you look at it as 80 cents and 40 cents it's a dollar 20 so this is how it gets written down yes and I like an extra zero just to keep everything in a square grid last one 9 plus 2 that's 11 how the 11 gets written down is this way 11 but there's a decimal that here that consistently repeats there so do fill it in with leading zeros and trailing zeros as needed and then this way the addition that needs regrouping or, or uh, carrying over is uh, rehashed into a format where it doesn't need carrying over anymore 6 plus 1 is 7 2 plus 1 is 3 and 1 plus 0 is 1 so that's how this works out flawlessly the same way with decimal numbers alright let's see another decimal example here it's already 7 minute long video thank you very much for watching here is the last example how about 5 point I don't know 9 8 3 4 some longer decimal number and how about uh, 17 point seven five nine uh, eight there let's add everything like so if you want you can write down 10 point zero 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 if you uh, if you want but you can just at 17 plus 5 18 19 20 21 22 just write down 22 here just like so with trailing zeros just to keep everything in line next one is 9 plus 7 that's 16 but watch out for the the, the 6 in the 16 must land in the same column there and there's a decimal dot between them and like I said I like these trailing zeros there the next one is 8 plus 5 8 plus 5 is 13 of course the, the 13 gets written down like so with the 3 of the 13 landing in this column and filling it in towards towards the left because this is 800th and 500th is 13 hundredth and that's how you write 13 hundredth in a decimal format next one 9 10 11 12 so when you add 9 and 3 and the 12 gets placed into that column like so with those decimal numbers and the last is 8 plus 4 that's another 12 but 12 like so because it's 4 ten thousandth and 8 ten thousandth is 12 ten thousandth so let's add everything and in this format uh, carrying over usually isn't needed if there is too many terms or if there are more than just two terms to add there could be it could result in uh, in a layout that has carryover amounts in it but again this could be reduced by another uh, front-end addition uh, to another uh, matrix of numbers eventually you'll end up with where there is no carryover amount in it anymore so 22 plus 3 so plus 1 is 23 6 plus 1 is 7 3 plus 1 is 4 
2 and 1 is 3 and the last digit is 2 so that's how it looks like front end addition with decimals and with whole numbers thank you very much for watching and like I said front end addition is not uh, not the ultimate solution to all math problems or it's just one way that also works if you don't happen to like carrying over or it doesn't make much sense or it's just not making sense to you here's another way of doing numbers